Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back with another video. And, wow! <clears throat> Seattle just not learning the lesson the first time around. Probably going to pull a Minnesota. Right now we have breaking 911 on Twitter. Breaking veto proof majority of Seattle City Council pledges to defund the police department by at least 50%. One part of the plan they're considering would remove Seattle's 911 dispatchers from police control at the Seattle Times. Uh, wow, man. Like, Seattle did not learn the first time. They think that going in there and appeasing these people is going to make a difference at this point. It, it, it effing won't. Okay. The only thing you're going to do is you're going to embolden more chat. Like the mayor doesn't understand how this works. Okay. They came to your home. You disabled the Chaz. Next time they're going to rebuild the Chaz this time around. They're going to rebuild it bigger and probably rebuild it on your property. Like I said, if you people want to see something done, Seattleites, all y'all people in Seattle, uh, I'm going to tell you something. You probably need to figure out how to get all these protesters to go straight to the mayor's office because that's how crap's going to get done. You keep sending them to the mayor's office somehow. But pe people are addressed. People are seeing this. I've, I've seen people before start asking questions when they start seeing these ch autonomous zones start popping up in these cities and they ask, where's the militia? I see this one comment all the time. Where's the militia boys at? Where's these uh, boogaloo guys at? Well, I can tell you where we're at. We're defending uh, cities and towns whose people vote properly. Okay? See, you got to remember, these people would not be on a city seat. They would not be mayors if some dumb fuck in Seattle did not vote them into office. This is y'all's problem. Uh, I did a video a while back talking about Eminence, Missouri. I'm, I'm harping on this. Eminence, Missouri, their sheriff, they had a sheriff's department there with three other deputies. They have four guys as law enforcement in the town. And they go, uh, we need the militia. And the militia shows up. That's where the Boogaloo Boys are going. They're going to places where they're wanted, where they're being requested. Where... The, the, the militia guys, irregulars like myself, we're not going to cities to save you people, okay? Because one, we show up there, that's when the police will be told they can do something. Then they'll deploy the National Guard. Uh, where We're not coming up there. You, you voted for this bullshit. Y'all been voting for this crap for a long time. You want to see change in Seattle? Y'all better get out there and vote these idiots out and vote some red into your city. Because this blue crap that you're dealing with? Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't work very well. They want you just to ignore what's going on and stick your head down and try not to make too much noise. But you have this... Let me explain what happens here when they start taking away law enforcement. Because my hometown actually has some as an example of this uh, in a micro scale. We have a law in the books which dictates that anyone walking down the street with their ankles exposed is subject to a $500 fine and one day in jail for indecent exposure. No lie, it's actually on our books. No cop enforces it. So you have no law enforcement enforcing one law. Guess what happens? People walk down the street with flip-flops and Crocs on all the time. We, we've never removed the law. The law is there. When you have no law enforcement enforcing a single law, people just break it. They don't care. There's no consequences. You take away the police, reduce them by about 50%, you watch what's going to happen. Uh, a lot of people were talk. A lot of people were uh, ta talking about this. You know why? Why would defunding the police? You know, taking away a lot of their equipment be bad? Look at the North Hollywood shootout, for instance. Before the North Hollywood shootout, there was a big push by law enforcement agencies to try and get rifles, a semi-automatic battle rifle, in their vehicles to provide better precision, armor-penetrating power. They requested it. And every time you have people, blue Democrats, 
like Dianne Feinstein come along and say, oh, your shotguns, your 9 millimeters, and your revolvers, they're, they're, they're enough. They're enough. You, you guys don't need to be properly equipped. Then you have the North Hollywood shootout happen. You got two morons with automatic weapons, illegal guns, by the way, or supposed to be. Personally, I, I don't think the guns should be illegal. And body armor, just mowing down cops right and left. They, they sent in, I think they sent police departments from three different departments and finally got the SWAT team deployed. Uh, this this was attempted uh, early in the, or like late in the 2000s, recently, I think like two or three years ago. <clears throat> a guy stepped out of a vehicle with body armor similar to what was used in the North Hollywood shootout, and the police officers put him down with a couple rifle shots to the head. You got a 9mm versus body armor, it doesn't do a whole lot. 12 gauge don't do a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of energy behind those those weapon systems. There's not a whole lot of nine millimeter has some penetration, but a shotgun just doesn't have very much at all. You're just going to, and especially if a dude's got body armor on, you're just really going to piss him off. But now you got these moron mayors and, and city council members who, let, let me explain something. The whole reason that Chaz was allowed to go on was to try and go Trump into an argument. You morons, and I'm harping at the mayors right now, you moronic mayors did not learn from the Chaz, did you? Because Trump done said he's not going to send the army in. He's not going to do this. He's not going to send the army in. He's not going to do anything stupid. You get rid of law enforcement, what do you think is going to happen? Y'all idiots going to get your own law enforcement. In other words, the people are going to be stuck dealing with the criminals, while all the rich people, it'll be like the purge, okay? Y'all seen the purge, where the rich people are sitting in there, and they're like, well, we choose not to participate in the purge, and they lock their, their house down, so no one can get into it, but everybody else, is, all the poor people are stuck out there with the maniacs. That's what's happening. Seattle is about to become the purge 24-7. You won't have enough cops to deal with the problem. Now, look, they're, they're gonna, here's what's going to happen. You're going to go out there. They're going to defund the police. They're going to have problems. Then they're going to say, you know what? We should develop something. And then they're going to reinvent the police again. Same crap, different tune. But they're not going to solve anything on this. This is... If you look at our country right now, and I, I pull up gun statistics right now. If you look up our crime statistics right now, guns are going through the roof and crime is falling. This is considered by the FBI as a direct result of better policing tactics and better equipped police departments. Logic dictates that if we can have guns going through the roof and crimes going down, but you can see a direct correlation between the crime dropping and the police getting better training, better equipment, better uh vehicular units, better tactics. Logic dictates that if you do the opposite of provide them with the equipment, training, and personnel that they need, then you're going to see crime spike in response to it. And I think this is just by design. Because <clears throat> like I said, the mayor, when this all happens, she's going to get some security for it's over with. The two uh, rich, the rich couple in St. Louis, they've got hired, they hired security. They can afford security. Average people like myself who go out there, run their own business, do construction, run a nine to five job. You can't afford security. You can't buy a bodyguard big enough to stop everyone out there. You need an army of men to do it. With weaponry, and you'd have to provide all that stuff. You don't have the money for that. The average person doesn't have that kind of cash. But these rich people, they don't care. The the these government officials in these Democrat cities, they don't give a shit. They're going to have their security teams, and you're going to be left out there with nothing. On top of that, they'll push for more gun control and disarm you, while all the criminals out there are going to get even more guns. And then they're going to be just, they're going to be deciding what happens and what doesn't, and the the mayor and everything are just basically going to be figureheads pulling in tax dollars. Y'all want to make the mayors in your towns actually figure this, actually do something, and stop this nonsense and put these riots down and stop defunding the police, then defund them. 
Just tell them, if you want the taxes, you send the law. By the way, we'll be waiting for them. Then they'll want the police department. Because then they'll be like, well, shit. We can't get our taxes right now for the city. Uh, let's call the police. Uh, you, you defunded the police and disbanded them, ma'am. Damn. That's what's going to happen. Y'all, you, you cities are going to have to buck up for once and say, no, enough is enough. We will not pay fines. We will not pay taxes. And if you want the money, come and claim it. And then they'll be like, well, maybe we need a police force now. Or you get in there and just vote these idiots out, finally. It's amazing how many people, these idiots come along, these mayors and uh, the, all these Democrats and stuff. They come into cities and they promise you the moon and then they never deliver. They come in there, they take over Seattle, turn into a shithole. Chicago, they promised a better life for blacks. Blacks are killing each other like crazy over there. New York, oh, we're going to become more inclusive. 65 people have died so far. It's the biggest spike in gun deaths they've seen in a while, since I think 2016. And they implemented near total gun control. Where the frick are they getting guns? How are they getting guns? How are they keeping them in New York City? Oh, wait, maybe it's because, you know, gun control doesn't actually work. But hey, we're going to disarm as many citizens as possible. Young black women going to be walking down the street just to be raped by whatever man walks up that decides he wants to rape them. It's amazing stupidity right there. Because... You're, like I said, these people, when you elect these types of idiots into office, I I tell people all the time, you want to see the difference between good governance, or at least halfway decent governors, and piss poor governors, look at the roads in Missouri and compare them to the roads in Illinois. Roads in Illinois are like a ribbed condom, okay? It is there to stimulate and stimulate you at will as you drive down the road. And not in a good way. It'll give you back. I'm amazed people don't have back trouble. And I bet you Illinois people go through tires like crazy. You go to Missouri. Missouri is constantly doing road repair. MoDOT repairs roads on a day, almost a yearly basis. They're out there. You can't go down the road without running to MoDOT. And they're repairing eight feet of road. Pouring new concrete on a highway of about eight feet because a dandelion decided to stick its head out from a from a freaking crack in the road. Well, Mr. Dandelion is gone. They're repouring new concrete. Why? Because they got tax money to do it. They know where to put the tax money at. Most of y'all people in these Democrat cities just gonna have to sit back and say, uh, no, we're not paying fines anymore. <laughs> just make them come in, form a form a militia. And force them to reinstate the police department. That's what you're going to have to do. Or, like I said, vote them out. That would be the simplest option. But, I mean, how are y'all people going to get them voted out? Some of y'all are going to have to jump in there, become candidates, vote these idiots out of these big cities, and try to change them for the better. But I can tell you right now, look at the crime statistics in this day and age. And then look at the pol- and, and look at what the FBI says it's a, a result of. It's not a result of gun control because gun ownership is going through the roof right now. It's a result of better policing tactics, better training, and better staffing and equipment. They're well equipped, they're well trained, and they're well armed. When you have the police department running on all cylinders. The police department can keep things going. Yeah, you have bad apples. You prosecute those people. But ultimately, right now, this whole nonsense of shutting down 50% of your department, like cutting it by 50%, I promise you that money is going right into the mayor's pocket and the city council. They're just taking all of it, putting it in their pockets like, oh, see, see, we're doing better. Reality, people are dying in the streets. Chad, Remember Chaz, folks. During the Seattle Chaz... You had, what was it, five shootings. The mayor didn't give a shit about the people until it came to her house. Just remember that. Anyway, folks, I'm The Last Raider. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed the channel. Also, be sure to hit the bell for notification if you're new. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.